Why are there so many graphic card manufacturers? What do they all do? Since there's a lot of cash money to be made in the GPU space, where there's money, there's competition. And in competition, you can't do all the exact same thing or nobody wins. <laughs> We're going to talk about the differences between the GPU manufacturers and what the two major players, AMD and NVIDIA, actually do. NVIDIA and AMD, also known as Team Green and Team Red respectively, are the industry leaders and core innovators of the GPUs themselves as they have the dough, infrastructure, and know-how to be number one. Other companies, such as MSI and Asus, well, their expertise is in the printed circuit board, or PCB side of things. These cats buy the cards from NVIDIA and AMD, expertly stick them into PCB boards that they manufacture and know inside and out, and they sell them for a hefty profit. MSI, Asus, Gigabyte, Zotac, PNY, and EVGA also manufacture and sell many other products that pair nicely with GPUs, like motherboards, power supplies, and cases. They buy AMD or NVIDIA GPUs at favorable prices as they profit from scale economies, stick them on their add-in boards or AIBs, and market and sell them as more complete gaming solutions, alongside some of the other PC build materials they sell. They sell different combos and stacks of GPU-based products in order to compete with each other in that space. This naturally begs the question, why wouldn't Team Green or Team Red make their own PCBs and collect all the clients, make all the sales, what are you looking at? Bring it up. and rake in all the profits? The story of the fox and the hedgehog comes to mind. The fox reads all books all the time, wanting to know every detail of every subject, every argument and counter-argument, every nook and cranny of information until he is complete. The hedgehog doesn't know and will never know as much as the fox, but he knows one big thing, and he knows that big thing well. He is the one big idea person in that forest, and focuses wholeheartedly on that big idea. Freeing his mind and allowing him to be super successful in one area of life, rather than moderately successful in many smaller ones. In the story of GPUs, AMD and NVIDIA have chosen hedgehog strategies, and so far, it seems to have worked out for them. They do what they do best, GPUs, and hire and outsource for the rest. And since GPUs take more focus, more resources, and have more prestige in the minds and hearts of gamers as it is the frontman or superstars of most gaming rig builds, margins are super Super duper high. PCBs, by contrast, have lower margins as they are less complicated and less involved to manufacture, and because are less worshipped and valued by gamers, have lower margins. This is one corporate structure that benefits the consumer, as you get more specialized pieces made by masters of their domains who have to compete for you. If there are only two options in a market, or even worse, only one, quality goes down as you have a bunch of jack-of-all-trade foxes building them instead of hyper-focused hedgehogs, and prices go up as the corporate giants move closer to a monopoly, and nobody wants to buy GPUs from the Monopoly Man. Prices for GPUs are high enough as it is. Feels good to win sometimes, right? Did we answer some of the questions you have about the GPU business as well as some you don't? Do you have a favorite GPU company? Do you buy the GPUs or get them bundled with PCBs? Or are you lost on the internet and watched this video for no reason? Let us know in the comments below and like and subscribe for more from the gamer. Bye-bye.